Greetings, travelers. My name is Baldwin II, third king of Jerusalem, Count of Edessa, born in 1060, year of our Lord. In the year 1096, I joined the First Crusade and reached the Holy Land. Along with many others, I fought with Saracens, defending my faith and God. I lived in this very fortress ten centuries ago. I'm inviting you now on a tour of the rooms and corridors where I once prayed. Join me in this experience of the Tower of David. Welcome to the Citadel, also known as the Tower of David. Look around and see its inner courtyard, with the buildings dating back to numerous time periods. In front of you is an exact model of the fortress, with a scale of 1 to 100. However, the Citadel did not always look this way. Over the course of its 3,000-year history, parts of it were destroyed many times over and had to be rebuilt from the ground up. Asmonians, Crusaders, Mamluks, Ottoman Turks, all of them left their traces. Most definitely, the Tower of David is where you can become a witness to the history of Jerusalem, from its ancient times up to our modern days. We are now standing near the main entrance to the citadel. This gate was built four centuries after my death by the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Suleiman the Magnificent. Suleiman was one of the greatest rulers of his time. Despite the endless invasions against Christian Europe and his own neighbors, Sultan was known as a great lover of culture, arts, and architecture. This gate is a great piece of architecture of Suleiman's era. One night, he had woken up from a terrible dream in which lions were chasing him and woke up in a sweat. One of the wise men explained, this means you must do a good deed. Suleiman immediately decided to rebuild the walls of the holy city of Jerusalem, which still stand to this day. Some of its numerous gates are also built under the reign of Suleiman, and the most well-known is probably Damascus Gate. If you look to your left, you can see a small garden. It's an open mosque, and it was also built by Sultan. Despite the name, King David was never actually here. He lived almost a thousand years before the citadel was even built. On your left, you can see an enormous structure, the Tower of Fasael. In the Byzantine period, the Holy Fathers of the Church mistakenly called it the Tower of David. Centuries later, the minaret built by Muhammad Pasha became the most visible part of the fortress which you can see to your right. The European pilgrims coming to Jerusalem saw the peak of the minaret first, so they decided it was the Tower of David. Even today, the minaret remains the symbol of the citadel and Jerusalem. Now I should leave you. My times are gone, and the military fortress that I once called my own turned into cultural museum. I was glad to share some of my knowledge, but surely it's just a fraction of the story. I invite you now to visit this place yourself. Come and become part of its history. <laughs>